it's exhausting watching this person nosedive, but they'd be reaching for you when they hit rock bottom. Aries, this is a reading for you. Welcome to my channel. Roses are red. Like and subscribe if the energy is something you're resonating with. But this is the energy that you may be experiencing for the next couple of weeks that I'm reading for. Okay. So it's an energy of watching someone nosedive. Um, and they're reaching out for you. Trying to get you to basically be their ground to walk on. Yeah, because you already know what their energy is like. You already know their personality by now. Um, it's like they're reaching for straws. And yeah, that's the vibe here. So we're going to work on this and see what spirit has for us. And dealing with this energy, whether this is something you're going to be helping. Or are you going to be helping this person? There's a lot of questions I have about this energy. But first, let's pray. Our Father... Who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. For thine is the kingdom and the glory forever. Amen. So I just said a prayer. I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting these prayers online, but you can say a prayer to yourself as well. But let's get some cards for this energy. You have King of Chalices, Seven of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse. King of Cups here. And I've also been getting some energy like there's something unfinished about this energy. Like someone is still practicing or learning. Maybe this is a young person that you're watching or a student of yours. Something emotionally undeveloped about this energy that you could be witnessing. Being tempted, they're being tempted by the devil at this point. Knight of Candles. I feel like they're running from their own calling and their own position. That's why their energy is so unstable right now. Uh, you're watching this person grow and evolve. That's what I feel like is the ultimate situation. What's going on with this energy? The mistakes you're the mistakes that these this energy is making is based on them being amateurs. That may come up later. That this person is an amateur, um, making mistakes that maybe you wouldn't have made. Or maybe they're trying to pretend like they're better than you. Because it's like, well, why is this person even on your radar? Maybe it's somebody that you thought you were learning from. But ultimately, they had nothing to offer but trying to pull you down. Or hoping that you'll be a scapegoat of some kind. Like, I'm getting the vibe of someone being um, a new learn, <clears throat> Someone freshly out of school or... Like, you have more education than the person who feels like they're in control of you. Um, or they feel like they're smarter than you. And they're trying to use you. Like, they want you to they want you to be their mat to walk, to walk on. <clears throat> I don't feel like that's what's going to happen at the end of the day. I don't feel like you're going to let them get away with this, whatever they're doing to you. I'm trying to feel like... So let's see. It says, God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source. So, yeah, it's this energy that you have more to offer than this person pretends that they're offering you. It, it seems like someone got caught up in some type of energy. That someone, like, you thought that you were learning something, you were in a situation to learn from this person. But all you can learn is that you're already where you need to be. Like, what you're learning is between you and spirit. This person physically is not teaching you anything. If anything, you're learning from their mistakes because you're connected to source. All your answers are coming from God. Not, not whoever this person is pretending to be. You have Mr. Clean. Like, this person, <sighs> just right away, I'm getting that they're pretending like they, they have a clean record. I will cleanse them. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. 
But the card's energy is more so along the lines of maybe this person is pretending to cleanse your spirit in some way. Um, but you're getting that cleansing. You're getting that cleanse from God. It all goes back to God. And also, I feel like this person has strayed so far away from God that when they when they go to reach out for help, it's like they don't know where God is. They've lost touch with their connection to Christ. He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my Father. This is the connection to source that you have because you're so connected to God. have Luke the evangelist someone could be being called to minister the word of God you could be a doctor or in medical school you could be doing a residency or something along those lines and the the, the people who you are helping very much need your help then you have a wild card as the Holy Spirit it's almost like you have access to medicines or the cure even you have access to the cure uh, because of your connection to source this could be a mental cure spiritual emotional or this could have something to do with the doctor salvation is found in no one else for there is no other name given under heaven there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. That's Christ the cure. That's the vibe. <clears throat> okay. And Sodom and Gomorrah is your cue here. What happened in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah is God told Abraham that he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham said, if there's 10 people, are you going to say, are you still going to destroy the city? Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but he went, he was going down. Like if there's a hundred people, if there's 10 people, if there's five people, basically what Abraham was is my cousin or however he's related. Is it his nephew Lot and his family live in Sodom and Gomorrah? And God said, you know, if there's, anyone there i wouldn't destroy it but the reality is that Sodom and gomorrah was ultimately destroyed and the bible says that lot was saved but his wife was left behind she turned into a pillar of salt so i feel like this energy is that whoever you're going whatever whatever you're the, the energy that you're dealing with um i'm, I'm seeing a doctor being in a place where nobody is pretty much <clears throat> gonna get better it was like someone like it's people are in dialysis or a nursing home or whatever this energy is is like <clears throat> people are they come here to die and the energy that you have is meant to save i don't know what's coming from that i feel like you're gonna have to go to spirit with that one because I, I really don't know even what i just said it feels like like almost like the spirit of death here or the angel of death but is there someone walking away like i feel a sadness for this energy the spirit um that's clinging to you and hoping for salvation because i feel like it's too late for them and they've already gone too far with you they've already crossed too many boundaries because i'm going inside of a second message here and a spiritual message because the spiritual mes message would be it's never too late to call on God, but I feel like with this energy, they've already rejected God. You have recipe, a list of ingredients and directions for preparing something. And I'm hearing recipe for disaster. Like this person, everything that they're made of is meant for evil. They started off with evil ingredients. Like this could be someone working in a lab, chemistry, uh, pharmacy putting together spells and witchcraft and trying to make some type of a drug to get people hooked that has no good intentions for it is users like they don't care about their patients even if this is a doctor they were trying to get rid of 
the, the people that they're working with, this could be why they're so afraid, why they're running from their calling. Because now it's like this person is in judgment and they're going to have to face their crimes if it's malpractice of some kind. All right. You have lack, worry, assistance in reverse. They're afraid to, to be poor. I'm just going to speak exactly what I'm feeling. And hopefully it's, it's nothing demonetized, but that's what I'm getting. Like this person is afraid of being poor. They're afraid of um, losing everything they have because they built it up on lies and schemes. And somebody that I feel like this doctor, this situation is a metaphor, but it's like someone is afraid of losing their license. Then you have five of water. So five, five is coming out here. I'm getting like, it's the end. It's the end for them. They've definitely reached as far as they're going to go. Let's see. And there was war again. And David went out and fought with the Philistines and slew them with a great slaughter. And they fled from him. Now I'm getting someone running from this person because the energy is kind of connecting to this person being someone who is slaughtering a whole large crowd of people okay the word g-e-n-o-s-i is coming up and this i speak for your own prophet not that i may cast a snare upon you but for that which is comely and that ye may attend upon the lord without distraction so it seems like this this message is coming out clear as clear as ever or clearer than ever even though i'm not really understanding the connections here hopefully when i go back there will be a connection hopefully you're getting what you need from this energy god shall likewise destroy thee forever he shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living so this could be energy for the spirit that could be attaching itself to you Maybe it's trying to get you to get rid of some people or just be like, even if it's a spiritual thing, like I'm going to destroy, um, yeah, like murder them, you know, in a metaphorical way. But it's like that energy is toxic. Ultimately, you're going to have to pay some type of price for that energy. Or this could be someone who feels like they're slaying demons. I'm not going to take a side either way. I'm just going to read the cards. It says, for they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly? Yeah, so the, the vibe here is that the anger is coming from God. And God is the one that's destroying whoever this person is that's trying to turn people astray. Like they're trying to turn them on to Satan. And God is seeing and watching everything they do. And now they're struggling and falling. And that's why no one is reaching out to help them because... People have witnessed this, this person's uh, crimes. So seven of earth at the bottom of the deck is patience and then relief, hope, and moving on is the card that comes out. So I feel like it's just be patient with this energy that you're watching suffer. <clears throat> be patient with them because eventually I feel like they're not going to be in your face anymore. This person is a shapeshifter, so they could be changing their mind or trying to turn into somebody else. But this is the let the last straw for that type of energy. They're going to have to settle in on themselves and whoever that is. I feel like this person is so afraid of being a cast as being unattractive. Like they're very vain, very conceited. You have unity here and prayer. So come together because... I feel like the masses, the majority here are, are coming together with this energy. It's like people are reaching a consensus with this energy. Come together in prayer, spiritual warfare, and evict this person from your life. Yeah, the energy is very clear. It's coming together. Whoever this person is that's being exercised or excommunicated from the community. See, yeah. I'm not going to read this as a Capricorn. I feel like this is clearly a double card, but this is Capricorn energy. I don't know. The devil card being Capricorn and Cancer being a sign. I just feel like that's just so unfortunate. Like it's really difficult to take the connotations away from that. And then you have 10 of swords. Maybe this is some something that someone is going through, but with this sun and Gemini, the sun and Gemini, it seems like they're struggling with identity 
issues. Like there's a split personality here. Or maybe someone is being exercised. Like someone is getting an exorcism and they're being separated by a demon. They're being separated from a demon. And you're watching this demon struggle and reach and try to cling to whoever else is willing to accept this plight and fight its fight. And nobody in that bite, nobody is taking that bid. That's the ultimate vibe here. Yeah, like is a demon going under? Because I feel like the person, what we wrestle not against flesh and blood. I feel like the person is safe. Is the demon that's being destroyed. Or ultimately a slew of demons that are being destroyed. Okay, any more energy? Then you have Taurus and Jupiter and, Gem and Gemini. So this is Hierophant energy. The Hierophant is coming out. Yeah, and this King of Cups could be in that devil energy right here. Or this could be someone that's calling you a Satanist because you're standing your ground. All right, let's get these cards. These mountains, gracious. I put them on, so I'm not going to complain, but... Okay. What else is going on with this energy? Mowing the lawn. Reduction. That could be a reduction of noise. Mowing the lawn <laughs> while we're talking about this GE inside. Oh, no. The whole entire deck fell. Yeah, mowing the lawn like you're getting rid of demons. And then we just felt that this whole act though. Like, it's it's happening all at once. Also, I feel like you're watching someone wrestle with demons. I'm seeing get away. Someone in a getaway car. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the vibe. Like, someone is trying to get you to be an accomplice to their crimes. They want you to be the, the getaway car. You are my emotions, or it says my emotions for you are still there. Yeah, this person is still clinging, but we already established that this is a demon. Time is, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Or this could be this person who is just not letting this demon go. And so they, they're going to ultimately go down with the ship because they won't let go of their problems. They feel like you're the one with the problem for even calling and then they, their goal is to rise back up, like raise hell in a way, but they're not going to rise back up. Too many people are watching them. They had they had a chance to um, to not be as evil as they are, and they chose to ride it out. And now I feel like it's a whole lot of people watching them suffer right now. And that's just unfortunate. So I'm going to get some more energy. As soon as I get this. Let's see. What do we have here? Four of Wands. It says, I know we have crossed the line. They already know they made a mistake. They know exactly what that mistake is. They're not stupid. Whoever this is is very intelligent. Highly intelligent. I'm getting doctor energy for this. Legend. And they know what they're doing. I'm always with you in spirit. And you have heartbreak. Like someone basically they're playing this game like you're getting rid of the wrong person. And this person is they're the good guys ultimately and you're sacrificing them like like Christ being crucified. And they're just like, you know, I'm gonna come back even stronger. And how dare you? Almost like, you know, you chose to to uh, beat me down. And there is like a sadness. They're watching you. It's like their eyes are watching you. And they're taking their last breath or something. And they're just like, they're going to be back. But really, you're just watching them fall within, them own, within their own body. You're watching their spirit, their, their low self-esteem, um, whatever humane here so something's like someone's saying basically like um you're being inhumane 
like have a heart with this heartbreak that's what i'm getting or like it's all a joke I just hope I cut these out because I'm like, mm. then you have repulsive, something re repulsive, friendly, or they feel like being friendly is repulsive and discreet. They don't want you to know who they are. They don't want you to get readings on them. They're making threats like you're going to get bad karma if you do readings on them. They don't want you to be informed about their energy. Um, but yeah, there's definitely something unfinished with this energy, whatever is going on. I feel like come together with your soul tribe. You're not alone in experiencing this energy. They're being extremely manipulative here. With Solomon and Gomorrah, nobody was saved. Or this could be lot energy because... The story of Lot is almost like he and he ended up getting rejected by Abraham, but Abraham still loved him, so he was rejected, but basically to Sodom and Gomorrah, and then that's what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, this could be someone you were friends with, but they just keep being irking and irritating, or or keep on calling on Satan instead of God, um, in a secret way, but everything they're doing is very clear and obvious. Nothing's being hidden right now. It's very clear that they're calling on Satan for help in their time of trouble. But it's repulsive to you. And I feel like they just keep getting darker and dirtier. In any case, that's the energy that I have for this um, reading. If that's something you resonated with, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what part resonated with you. Uh, you can book a reading with me, a personal reading or your personal energy you can join my members only, but there are other links as well that you can subscribe to if you're interested in that. And I'm going to head over to the next reading.